Hello there to everyone watching. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry and in this video I am continuing my Eurovision 2023 national final season uh, reactions and moving on to the Romanian national selection, uh, Selectia Nationale, I think that's called. Um, and yeah, so th this video I'm going to be taking a look at the 12 songs competing in that selection, listening to them all for the very first time and giving you my opinions as I listen to them. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and if you do enjoy it, please consider clicking the like button and the subscribe button as well for similar videos in the future and please also do let me know down in the comments your thoughts on the 12 songs taking part and who your favorites are and all of that uh, but without further ado let's begin the reaction okay song number one i'm going to be listening to is from diona i'm hoping we're saying her name and it's called call on me so let's have a listen it's been a long time a nice sort of interesting vocal there something that we're seeing quite a lot in modern music i feel i quite enjoying it a nice pleasant start Liking the gu sort of guitars coming through, the way it's going now. Okay, so it's giving that kind of teen pop rock vibe. Maybe thinking like a sort of high school musical style type thing. So it's maybe a little bit dated in that style. But it's nice and enjoyable. And I think it's got a catchy vibe of it too. I like the bit there, sort of leading in towards this part. It's all got a very nice, pleasant vibe. I'm hoping it's given sort of nice accompanying staging that can sort of help contribute to make it come alive. I'm worried that it might struggle a little bit to stand out amongst other songs that are perhaps more eye energy and in your face. But yeah, this is very enjoyable. Perhaps maybe a bit too radio friendly for your vision, but overall enjoyable, I'd say. I'm liking this part here, although it is not breaking any major barriers. Yeah, now we kind of got like a little bit of a key change there, which was what I was kind of expecting to happen. It has got a very kind of sort of teen sort of pop style vibe going on there but overall that was quite nice for the first song i would say next up i'm going to be listening to andrada popper and the song is called no time for me so let's have a listen to this one and see what we think Getting a slow start there, a sort of a nice soft atmospheric vibe, nice vocals. Very pleasant, very sort of storytelling vibe going on there. I like the backing sort of vocals going through there too. Sort of in this bit I'm getting a bit of a sort of musical theatre vibe, you know, and a bit maybe Disney as well. That's this part is giving me that sort of vibe, you know, so interesting start. Very pleasant so far. I'm waiting to see whether we get a moment where the song really sort of pops and gets bigger at, um, at all. I think that like this chorus is giving a little bit more than the first chorus did. Uh, but I feel that we need a moment that really makes grabs your attention, you know, either instrumentally or vocally. Um, so hoping that that bit comes through at some point uh, in the final part of the song. Very 
Okay. Getting it a little bit there. Uh, I realise this is probably quite sort of demo-ish. Um, so, <clears throat> so it's probably not sort of the final polished version. So I'm opening the final polished version and on the live national final it sort of all comes to sort of a bigger crescendo there because that could create a nice moment uh, so overall very pleasant I'd say uh, but I do feel like there does need to be a little bit more sort of done to the song to make it a bit more impactful next up I'm listening to the song from it looks like it's a group called Ocean Drive and the song is called Take You Home so let's have a listen to this one and see what we think of it Okay, so we're getting a bit of a sort of a funky five beer at the start. You know, I'm quite enjoying this. It's quite a you know, sort of grab me straight away. You know, it's not just a sort of a ballad or walk song or anything like that. So very interesting start. Interesting to see where the chorus and this is going to take it. Okay. Nice and pleasant. I was hoping for a little bit more of a sort of a disco dancey vibe. I think that chorus perhaps doesn't quite grab me in a memorable way as much as I was liking. Um, but let's see how the rest of the song develops. Yeah, I feel like we're getting the same sort of feeling again with this chorus. I don't feel like it's developed on the first one that much. The first is I'm quite liking because they're sort of, I'm liking the groove and the vibe. And I'm quite liking this bit here with the instrumental guitar part. Um, but yeah, the choruses perhaps are not grabbing me in the way I would open them to. I still am enjoying the song. But I feel it doesn't have anything to make it stand out amongst the field. It makes me think a little bit of Slovenia 2022, um, which has a sort of a similar disco vibe. And of course, we know that that didn't work out for them at all last year. So I fear that the same thing might happen with this too. The next of the songs I'm going to be taking and listening to is Puppet by Amia. So let's have a listen. Okay, getting an interesting start there with the, uh, like the boo, boo, boo instrumental in the background. An interesting vibe there, something different, not your usual sort of pop sound. Hmm, interesting. It's got that kind of sort of oldie school, sort of 20s, 30s vibe, maybe. I may be quite off there with my uh, sort of dating of the vibe there. I'd be very interested to see how this is staged. In terms of a Eurovision song, the probably most similar would be um, Malta with Destiny in 2021. It's giving that kind of similar vibe from that sort of time era. Um, so very interesting so far. I would say I am quite enjoying it. I do feel it does need a bit of reworking to make it really stand out um, and make people really want to pick up the phone and vote for it. Um, I'm not quite sure just it being different is enough for that to happen. But I think with some reworking there and some beefing up of the elements and good staging could definitely make this be one that could do decently at Eurovision if selected. I feel now we've got to like this final part, I do feel that there's a bit of maybe repetitiveness there as well um, and it's not changing very much in the choruses so I definitely feel that does need to be introduced to the song 
a bit of a sort of a switch up here with like sort of similar sort of a small key change there which is appreciated um but yeah a song with lots of potential but i think we're a bit of a revamp required probably the next song I'm going to be listening to is by Andre Dutu, and the song is called Statues. So let's have a listen to this one. Some battles along the way, I feel the bones in my body break. Getting a nice sort of piano start, a rather, you know, rather melodic start. It does sound a bit familiar to something else I'm instantly getting low, can't put my finger on it. Nice vocals there low. Probably the nicest vocals we've had so far, I'd say. Nice build up here going into the chorus. So I'm thinking where's... The... Oh, okay, so we're not getting co a chorus there, that was kind of a little teaser. I like it that we've got the drum beat going in, so it's getting good elements being added in so as it's going in so far, which is always important. Nice development here with this second chorus. I feel like it's keep on building and building. Hoping that there's going to be something there that's going to make it jump out a little bit more. And this bit here is very nice as well and again good vocals definitely I'll say this is probably the best overall package so far quite like the bridge that we just had then in this little section here so hoping for the last chorus to come in with a big power Yeah, I'd say overall this is the favourite for me so far. I definitely feel there are areas that it can be improved, um, just to give it a little bit more oomph and power. But it is definitely the best overall package in terms of vocals, melody, instrumental and all of those things. Uh, indefinitely in terms of standing out at Eurovision. Next up for me, I'm listening to the song from Theodore Andre. The song is DGT, Off and On. So let's have a listen to this one. I think we're getting the first song with Romanian in it, uh, which is always good to see national languages being represented. This is giving me a bit of a indie alternative vibe, um, which could sometimes work for me, other times not so much. Okay, I can see that this would have its fans, but it's not one that's grabbing me at the moment. The vocals and the vibe are not one that I normally gel with. Um, and yeah, not quite working for me at the moment in this audio version. Okay, we're going into English for the second half, um, which is switching it up a little bit. Getting a bit of rap now, so it is kind of going in lots of different directions. I find been a little bit more with this part here in English and then the bit that was in Romania. Um, it's just sticking with me a little bit more, so it's grown on me a bit. Okay, this bit is interesting. You know, got, got the little sort of piano bit there. So quite like that section, that was quite nice. I definitely feel as this has gone on its grown on me. I think that's possibly because it's got its own sort of s s s style rooted there. Um, 
and I feel and also I feel like it feels quite authentic to the performer here so I feel like the message is being sold across a little bit stronger than maybe some of the other songs um, still not my go-to genre but yeah it's definitely grown on me a lot more as it has gone on Next up, I'm moving on to the song from, we've got Stephen, Croa, Gabriella and Formatia Halbatros and the song is Lele, so let's have a listen to this one. Getting a bit of an ethnic vibe there, um, not quite sure what the flute instrument is called. Okay. The uh, audio quality of this isn't the greatest, but I'm liking her vocal from what I can hear. And I'm liking the beat in it too. Sounds like we're going to get quite an uh, upbeat ethnic style chorus. Almost Turkish in style. I do feel that in the Romanian selection we do sometimes get this kind of vibe every now and again in the songs and it's always very appreciated. I would say it's quite difficult to get a full vibe for this song as it's just a, you know, sort of like recorded in a music room there so obviously it's not got all the added extras that are proper studio version would have and hopefully in the live performance as well it'll have very good staging and sort of backing track to make it really come alive because I can feel that there's lots of potential for this song and I really am enjoying the vibe that it is giving. I'm liking the, the flute bit here and the vocals there, very nice mimicking of the two. Nice vocals there with the high long notes there. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing this on the live performance because I feel that that will definitely help to make this come alive. But just based on this very sort of rough version, we're ear in ear, really enjoying that one. We are now moving on to Aledeida. Uh, I'm thinking we're pronouncing her name with the song Blah Blah Blah. So let's see. Well, I thought so on this one. Nice start there with the beat there. It's sort of giving a bit of a you no know, attitude vibe there, which I'm quite liking. I'm well, liking this bit here with the vocals, a bit dark and mysterious. Okay, quite a nice chorus. I feel again this is one that's like a very sort of rough copy of the song. You know, it hasn't got all the added bells and whistles that a uh, final polished version will have. But I feel that that chorus there, with good staging and dancing and nice uh, beats behind it, could really make the song come alive uh, visually and musically. Yeah, I feel for me a lot of the comments that I commented on in Lele would appeal to this. Um, I think that this song is one that's got lots of potential. Uh, I can hear that it's got very good qualities there and strong vocals. I'm hoping when we get to the live national final, you know, the final version of this is a bit more polished. Because um, I feel that we'll make it come alive more. I am expecting and hoping that these songs that we're hearing will have a more polished version of them by the time we get to that point. Um, but yeah, another strong song that I'm really enjoying and again, like many of the ones before, work to do on it but I think there is a lot of potential for it. <clears throat> Next up we have Adriana Muwaru and the song 
Ferales. Probably not pronouncing that right, but that was just my attempt there. Uh, very interesting to see what this one sounds like. Um, I think we might be getting something a little bit more, you know, upbeat maybe or up tempo with the backing that we got here. But let's have a listen and see what we can see what we think. Nice start there. We've got in some dancers here. So obviously it looks like some money has been put into this little preview video here. Okay. We're getting a little bit of um guitar maybe. Um it's got a very nice sort of summery beach vibe. You know, sort of like holidays vibe there. I'm liking the clap clap bits there. And this definitely feels like one of the songs that's more of an overall package, even though is, there is still rough moments in it. But yeah, it's nice and fun, summery vibe going on there. And I think this is in Romanian. So I'm appreciating that as well because uh, we are getting a lot of English language songs in the national final here. And I think that's helping to make it stand out and feel more authentic for me. We're getting a bit of a dance break here. Hopefully in the final performance we'll get a bit more dancing than just this kind of and dancing that's going on. But you know, it's switching the song up, which is always appreciated. Yeah, I'm really actually really enjoying it. The more it's going on, the more it's appealing to me. Uh, I think it's possibly very close to the time of being a bit cheesy, but I do like that kind of thing anyway, so that's not really bothering me too much. It's just all really rather feel good, I'd say. And yeah, yeah, it's making me happy and making me want to dance, and that's the most important thing, really. Coming towards the end of the selected songs for Romania, the uh, next one is Mary Liss with Hi Fino. So let's have a listen. I don't know if this is another Romanian language or not. Let's find out. Okay, a bit of a sort of a country guitar ballad start. And she is wearing that sort of cowboy country vibe uh, shirt. Really liking her vocals, they're very pleasant. And I'm liking the guitar vibe. Very pleasant, very sort of comforting, peaceful, relaxing going on there. Going into the chorus here, one thing that I'm noticing from the song so far is that it feels quite 90s in its style. And I uh, sort of 90s was my growing up years, so it's, it's, it's appealing me in that way. And I'm liking quite a lot of the things that the guitar instrumentation is doing. It feels very pleasant on my ears. This probably isn't a standout song at the moment. Um, but it's one that I'm actually quite enjoying quite a lot, really. So, yeah, enjoying this so far. I'm really hoping that the live performance, she can bring the vocals. Because I feel that that is what's going to really make this song stand out. As well, they can give it nice sort of country five staging. And, you know, just keep it quite simple. I feel it could work for this. I appreciate that this is probably not going to appeal to everyone, um, but for me I'm actually really quite liking this, it's just got a very simple melody and for me Ruth quite, you know, quite enjoys the simple melodies, yeah I really am quite enjoying this. Okay, we have two songs left to listen to, the penultimate song is from Jack's Man and the song is called bad and cool so let's see what we think okay getting a bit of a 
guitar start. Okie dokie. I like the, you know, the instrumentation in the back, which is a bit dark, with ears vocals that are a little bit on the softer side. I'm liking the sort of bit where the sun's going now. That sort of that. I don't know what that sort of knocking in the background is, but I'm quite liking that. Okay, quite liking this here. There's a bit of a sort of a modern disco 80s vibe going on there, which I'm quite enjoying. You know, it is sort of 80s, but in a kind of a very modern, chilled, laid-back vibe, if that makes any sense. And yeah, I feel that this is a very good uh, opening for the song. Yeah, this bit here is sort of possibly my favourite part, you know, where it's just got the very sort of simple vibes going on there. And then we get the beat coming back in there, so I like the the sort of mix up of the two. Yeah, this is a sort of just a very simple melody, but you know, it's quite infectious, and I think you know, the vibe of it, I think, is quite catchy too. Well, and this bit here, I'm liking this sort of bridge here, you know, mixing it up a little bit more again. Okay, so we've reached the last of the 12 songs. So this song is from the Andrea Di Folklore Orchestra and the song Perenetta Mia. So Romanian again, which is very good. Um, and yeah, very interested by the little uh, freeze image we've got here of the staging and we've got the instruments. So very interesting to see what this one sounds like. So let's take a listen. Hoping that this is going to be a fun, high energy start or so. Um, but I can be getting the vocals there, very ethnic opening, which is always good. So, see, that's carrying on there. So, very interesting to see where this one goes. Okay, fun start. Feels like a very sort of big bandy vibe there. Quite liking this so far. I do feel so I'm perhaps not really picking up on a melody to uh, grab onto. It feels like we've got the different musical instruments all kind of fighting with each other, um, including the vocals. But it's fun, and I think that's part, the biggest part of its charm. So I'm hoping that the live performance on the stage can make the fun really come through. And I definitely feel this is going to be one that the more I listen to it, the more it's going to grow on me more and more. Um, just because I feel it's going to have that infectious vibe. I mean, it's definitely grabbing me more as it's going through. I think, actually, this is giving me a quite similar vibes to Moldova in 2009, uh, or in Moldova, which I really did like a lot. You know, but it's just giving me that sort of vibe. Um, even the vocals are quite similar to that, I would say. Um, so yeah, that's remind me quite a lot of that and I, I do remember that was quite rough in its first form But it eventually grew into a really strong live package um, So I'm sure a similar thing can happen here too 
Okay, so that completes my listening to all 12 of the songs taking part in the Romanian national selection. Um, and I do have to say, I'm actually very positive about those 12 songs. I had heard some comments about it not being a very strong selection. And whilst all the songs did feel as though there's very much in a demo phase, there are a lot of songs there that I did quite like. And I feel that there's a lot of potential in many of those songs to become much stronger with, you know, reworking done to the song to make um sort of a more polished package uh and then obviously when we get the live performance and staging i'm sure all that will help them be more polished as well um so yeah there's a lot of songs there that i did quite like and quite enjoy and yeah i'm very much looking forward to see how they progress in time for the national final which is in february the 11th i think i think it's the day where we got lots of national finals going on at the same time um but those are just my thoughts uh very briefly i won't give you my final thoughts on the songs just yet um i'm gonna go away and listen to the songs all a couple more times and then just before the national final in February, I will post my top 12 um, for the selection once I've kind of got used them all a little bit more. Um, but yeah, those are just my initial thoughts. So please do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Um, it's always interesting to read your comments. And yeah, so very much interested to see what you've got to think and say. And yeah, please also click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos from the Eurovision 2023 national final season, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell um, i'm going to be trying to react to all national final songs um, and everything that's going on for 2023 so be very much appreciated if you would be able to join me for all those videos and yeah nothing else left to say except for thank you very much for watching all please do take care and until the next video goodbye